Hello everybody, welcome back. It's been like a week since I made the last video, which was interesting. Welcome back, how to make a Minecraft 1.14.2 server. Because Mojang seems to rush out their updates enough that I can't stop making these videos. Mojang, take your time on updates please, because I want to stop making these. Now, here we go, let's get started. First you need, um, Git, and you can find that on, um, yeah, you need Git. It's, you can download it here, link in the description. Then you need build tools. You can just download the newest jar. You put it in a folder uh, called build tools or something, and you start it up. Then you're gonna right click. You're gonna press git bash here. It's gonna open something that looks like this. You're gonna run Java dash jar build tools dot jar dot dot dash dash rev one point fourteen point two and press enter. That's it. All right. That that's as easy as it gets. You download git, download build tools, throw it in something. Right click, press build with build tool, uh, get, get back here, enter this thing I'm gonna put in the description, it will load, it will take a little while, you're good to go. That's easy. Um, few disclaimers, 1.14 builds are not even out of the development builds yet, don't use them on a server, please, unless you're an experienced server owner, if you're a developer, it's okay. But um, these are updated like every day, so there's hundreds of new updates every day, so it's always going to be out of date, so I recommend you're using build tools once a week to get the newest versions. Just keep the build tools file uh, loaded, and it will just load the changes every week or whatever. Um, while this is building up, let's see what we're going to need momentarily. Then once you get your server files, just like you normally do, you're going to create a start.bat. The link's in the description to this start.bat. And I just put, um, I just set it to say that when it's the jars 1.14.jar it will go ahead and start up um the link to all of these start.bats are down in the description below all you have to do is edit it to be your spigot server name um and that's pretty much that simple so let me show you how you edit it you right click you can click edit with notepad plus plus and you can change the name to something you can even edit with notepad or one of those very easy to do that easy to do just rename it and you're good i named it server.jar so once build tools is done compiling we can check that out um so i can show you a little bit about the current builds and stuff let me pull this over while it builds so pretty much it's not fully updated there's many bugs with mojang not just of spigot mostly the bugs are in mojang so they're in development make sure to read over the posts also um it's often when is this spigot 1.14 is going to be announced they it's already able for public answer but it's a development build like i said earlier this is for developers don't use it on a live server i'm just showing you if you want like a survival server or something don't use it on a live server you're gonna miss it's gonna mess up stuff the api stabilities do not like there's they may be broken there could be so many broken things in 1.14 um so you know yeah so here's one thing is the other question that asked when will an update be able to be released build tools 101 number 101 is two weeks update and all users using development tools should be aware so spigot updates independently of build tools simply rerunning build tools in the same manner will as you originally done will be su sufficient for your server jar so 100 versions released in a month so all you don't even have to read it around download build tools you can just run it again and it will update automatically which is pretty nice so what it's doing here is it's decompiling and then it's going to patch everything with spigots patches and it's going to go ahead and compile bucket and it's going to compile spigot for you. Um, once this is complete, you will have your f spigot jar. So you can see here it's building bucket 1.14.2 and then it's going to patch the spigot patches and it's going to build spigot.1.14.2. And then you'll just drag this in and we'll name it our server.jar and we'll go ahead and start the server and it'll be easy as that. Um, if you do need a host, I would recommend Kyra Hosting. Our link, our uh, affiliate link is down in the description. You can co use code BJHDDEV for 15% off your order. So, you may be wondering, um, what do we do on this channel? Because you may be here from other stuff. We do update logs, we do tutorials, we do co coding tutorials. So, if you're anything Minecraft or anything development, make sure to stay here and keep an eye on the channel. I'll be happy to help you all out. Um... The day I'm actually recording this, um, there was a video planned, but I'm pushing that video back because 1.14 just released. So if you're excited for the future videos coming in the next week, let me know by leaving a like and commenting on this video, letting me know what you want to see for the next week. Because I'm running out of ideas, obviously, because I keep making these videos. So what it is doing right now is it's forking Spigot into Bucket, and it's applying all Spigot's patches that allow it to become better than Bucket, because don't use Bucket. By the way, please, if you are 
creating a server, use Spigot. No, you use Bucket. Bucket's outdated. It's not as much updated. Spigot has all the fixes and updates that it needs, along with security updates and stuff. It's way better. Just use Spigot, please. Also, don't use those sites like Get Bucket, Get Spigot. They don't use the newest builds, and they're always out of uh, date, and it's there. It's a security risk. Always download your own using build tools. You can download it on Windows, Mac, or Linux, and then you just have to drag it in and update it when you can. It's that easy. It's not that bad. So, please do it the legit way. Don't do it the bad way always do it the legit way so you can see here now it's building and it's going to clean up everything so it's building up spigot right now um it's 0 0.1 so 0 0.1 release of 1.14.2 make sure you don't use this on a live server right 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 uh, like uh, i can't speak it's late in the day just like i said so make sure to just use that correctly it's almost done here once it clears the entire console we'll see when it is complete and then we can go ahead and start up our server, let everything generate, and check if we can join. So there we go. It's successfully compiled Spigot 1.14.2. We can close that off. We're going to copy and paste this in here and just name it server.jar, just like we put into our start.bat file. Double-click start.bat. It's going to go ahead and start up while we start up our Minecraft 1.14.2. Ah, here we go. So we haven't accepted our Elula text, so make sure to double-click the Elula file. You can edit with Notepad++ or um, your default... Um, editor and you can just restart the server once more in the latest release i'll go ahead and load up 1.14.2 and we'll try to join just as a little warning 1.14.2 and 1.14 overall uses a whole lot of ram and memory i don't recommend it for main servers just like i've been saying this entire video make sure you're just using this for something easy because the main servers cannot run this well and it's going to take up your ram and it's going to cause issues it's it's a big thing so our minecraft 1.14.2 has started up and we're going to go ahead and almost join into the server once it completes its generation of the minecraft world which may take a moment because 1.14 seems to generate a huge world and it uh it's pretty slow so we'll go ahead and wait for that to load up like i said if you have any need help with any of this make sure to join our discord i would be happy to help you uh we allow help most of the time and it's very nice. Our test server does support 1.14.2, I believe. Yes, it does. You can join our official test server, test.bjpdevelopment.com, on 1.14.2 and enjoy playing around on it. It all works like this. You can test Fate UXC, Fate Meetup, Fate Hub, and UXC games on 1.14.2. Now that our 1.14.2 server is loaded up, you can join with local host. We are in. There we are. We are in our 1.14.2 server. You can see it is lagging a little, but that's just because 1.14 is kind of weird. Um, if you have any questions on how to like port forward or anything, an upcoming video will show you how to port forward. Um, but if you have any questions on using 1.14.2, just let me know by leaving a comment down below or joining our Discord, and I could be happy to help you out. Coding tutorial episode 10 re 9 releases next week, and then we have episode 10 coming after, which will involve config files, so keep an eye out for that. Thank you so much for watching today's video. My name is Noodles. If you have any questions, again, let us know, and we'll be happy to help you out. Make sure to go check out BJK Development. We have made custom plugins, and we have over 30-plus plugins on Spigot and MC Market, some free, some paid, that have all five-star reviews, so that's very nice. Let me know if you have any questions. Once again, my name is Noodles, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next video. Goodbye. Whoa. That's a weird animation. I've never... The camera moves down now. Wee, wee. Okay, enough playing with 1.14.2. Go download this yourself. Link in the description. Goodbye.